Welcome to Rejoicing Heart Ministries. We hope everyone is having a great day. This is Robin Donna Litwin here to encourage you with the Word of God. Today we have a teaching about how your words can be a tree of life. Our reading is from Proverbs chapter 15 verse 4. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. Today's teaching is called Wholesome Words. This proverb starts out referring to someone speaking words that promote health and healing. It continues to go on saying that perverseness or speaking vicious words breaks down your spirit. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 4 in the Amplified Bible says, A gentle tongue with its healing power is a tree of life, but willful contrariness in it breaks down the spirit. Here in the Amplified Bible translation, it breaks down the word wholesome to say a gentle tongue with its healing power. The definition for the word wholesome refers to good bodily health, morally and physically. In Greek, this word translates to the word marpe, and it refers to health, healing, remedy, and cure. Using these definitions in our original verse, it is telling you that a healthy tongue, or words that are positive, are a tree of life. Consider the tree of life from Adam and Eve in Genesis chapter 3 verse 22, where it speaks of Adam and Eve living forever if they take from the tree of life. This proverb is saying, you have power in your tongue with the words you speak, similar to the tree of life. This truth is confirmed in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21, which says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. This says that your tongue has power in it to speak words of life or death. It also continues on to say that you will eat the fruit of your lips. Consider what the fruit of your lips is when you speak. Do you eat things like healthy fruit, or do you eat things that are known to cause health issues? The fruit of your negative words are similar to eating unhealthy foods. When you speak negative words, you are speaking unhealthy things against yourself. Consider the curse words you hear many people use. Would you say they promote good health or sickness? I absolutely hate hearing people use the Lord's name in vain because I really do not know where that curse will end up in that person's life. Will he eat the fruit of those words? I am sure those exact words end up negatively affecting that person's health or someone else's health very close to them. The Apostle James explains this in his letter, James chapter 3 verses 8 through 10. But the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceeds blessing and cursing. My brethren, These things ought not so to be. After explaining how deadly curse words are, James continued on to say, These things should not be happening. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 2 says, Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth, thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. This further amplifies the significance of your spoken words and how they affect you. You can find many other verses in the Bible that confirm this truth. Now, going back to our reading, the last half of the verse says, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. This is saying that words contrary to good health are a breach in the spirit. This word breach, or in Greek, shever, was used many times in the Bible, with almost half of the times it was used, it was used to refer to destruction. You could say that the end of this verse is saying that anything you say that is contrary to healthy or wholesome words is causing destruction in the spirit. This is confirmed in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 7. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. Next time you are feeling like spouting off with your frustration, consider all these things before you open your mouth and vent. If you can't control yourself in that moment, reflect on what you actually spoke from your mouth and how these words affected you and or the people around you in that moment. Then ask God to help you control your emotions the next time a similar situation comes up. In closing, Here's a verse that you can meditate on and put into your heart and mind to help you when these situations arise in the future to avoid the destruction that your mouth can create. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 6 says, Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. When you speak excellent things and right things, it will be wholesome words that nourish you like the tree of life. Father, thank you for the understanding of the power in our words. Help us to always speak healthy, wholesome words in our lives. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Thank you for listening to Rejoicing Heart today. If this teaching has blessed you, please consider becoming a monthly partner to help us increase the ways we are proclaiming the Word of God. This is easy to do. 
Just visit our website at rejoicingheart.net. We thank you for your support. We leave you with more encouragement from the Apostle Paul from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.